What it is, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Tifa Isaac Kennedy, the cinematic fanatic himself. Thank y'all for tuning in. So, the movie, film, or whatever you want to call it, I want to talk about is a film that. I guess you could say it was an independent made black film. The director of the film and the writer, Carlton T. Clay. Victory Productions Network. So, remember that. So, he did a film called Past the Thorn, The Lust of the Flesh. Great movie. If you ain't check it out, go check it out. It's, all, it's on all streaming platforms. I watch it on two. It's on Roku, Amazon Prime, and a whole bunch of other streaming services, whatever you want to call it. Like that. So, first off, let me start out by saying that this movie here, man, if you want to watch a good movie with a storyline, and it, I just basically just it got a mixture of drama, comedy, and suspense. This is the movie for you. Like you, you and your significant other want a date night or whatever night like that. You know, hey, chill, watch this. I guarantee to the T that this movie right here is gonna trip me out. It tripped me out when I first saw it. But what not? So. Let me start off by saying that the movie, first of all, the movie start off where you have this individual, he's in the shower. And this woman is walking to his room. Hotel room now. So, she get up in the room. Now, how she got in the room, she probably had a key, whatever like that. So, homie get out the shower. She there in the lingerie and. You know, all that, you know, with the little, little spaghetti straps and the fishnet stocking pantyhose and all that shit like that and stuff. So, so, next thing you know, now what is going on is uh, there's a, a male voice that sounds like a pastor is quoting or preaching a scripture from the Bible. So when that's going on, they show this little young dude outside, he's selling weed. So he's selling, and he get caught by an undercover officer. Then they cut back to homeboy in the hotel, so he dig the female out, and stuff like that, so he hitting it. Then when the uh, pastor that's talking, get done talking they put it on him it's the same cat that just got to doing the do whatever and stuff so she get out of bed she leave and stuff he just laying in bed looking I guess feeling somewhat guilty or whatever like that and stuff so come to find out he is the lead character of the film Pastor Jacob Thorne and he don't like for nobody to call him Jake that's the crazy part so so the deacon came in there, was telling him, hey, you know, we did these numbers and stuff. So he basically was treading on the decline of the membership in the church. So homie telling him, like, hey, man, just keep doing what you do. So he didn't want to hear that. So he's all about business, you know, stuff like that. So next thing you know, he asked him, well, how much do we take up in the offering? Homie said, like, I want to say either 10, 20, 30 stacks. Wait, what? That's what he said. So, homie true about it, so he feel like that wasn't enough. I don't know about him, but me personally, hey, that's a lot. So, therefore, hey. So, homie, he true about that, da 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 this and that, talking about they don't appreciate me, I'm a man of God, I'm preaching the word, and they should be offer me more money and stuff like that that type of move like that so next thing you know 
he talking to the dude, whatever, stuff like that. So, the chick come in that he just had relations with earlier came into the, his, his office with the passenger. Now, this is the twist, ladies and gentlemen. The woman that old Pastor Thorne hit is the deacon's wife. <gasps> wow. Uh-huh. What a what 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 a quinky dink. So homie telling him like, yeah, man, she the best, man, da 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 this and that, and I do anything for and stuff like this. So little he know old pastor is just digging her out, if you know what I mean. So skip from that scene, they show his wife at the house. Now she's in a in a slump or the pre a depressed like slump or whatever like that because she just recently had a miscarriage. So he come home and so she trying to talk to dude and all that he wanna talk about is the church business and how they gonna appreciate him and all that stuff like that and whatnot. So she trying to talk to all the boys that she called him Jake and he's like, I'm Jacob, call me Jacob. So she talking to him about the marital problems and stuff like that. Then next thing you know he received a phone call. So it was the it was the deacon from earlier. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to this movie. Y'all go check it out and watch the actors that portray these characters. Because if you check this movie out and you want to see more films from Carlton T. Clay, you're going to see the same actors. But they're good. Okay? So, back to this. So, he get a phone call from the deacon. So, he tell him, like, yeah, Pastor So-and-so want you to come preach at his church next Sunday. So, he asked him, how much? So dude said like a thou wow. That's all I'm worth? They gotta come better than that. So yeah. So call me back and get a better offer. Click. So his wife looked at him like, really? Like you just you bought the money now and shit like that? So they get into it and all that, you know, this little argument and whatnot. So he turned around and said, What can't you support your damn man? That's the reason you had a miscarriage and lost our baby. And that 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 hurt. So she heard behind that. So he get to talking with it and stuff like that. So he leave out the room. He get another phone call. So this phone call right here was very important to him simply because of his son got locked up. And you remember I told you from the beginning of the movie there was a young man he was he was standing out serving. That was his son. So he get a call from somebody from the police department that know him or go to the church or whatever like that and stuff. So he get the little dude, little dude being disrespectful, this and that. So he about to whoop his ass. Like put hands on him literally. So Little dude get to talking smack and this and that and da 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 this and that and the whole nine and shit. So next day, you know, he tell little dude, hey, take your ass upstairs, man. By the way, when you watch this movie, man, I want y'all to tell me, do this actor, the male actor that's portraying, he probably portraying like a 17, 18 year old teenager. And I want you to see when y'all watch this movie, those that go watch the video and go check out this movie, and to ask and tell me, do this young man, the actor that's playing him, does he look like he's in that age range? But it's acting, so anyway. So he deal with that. The next thing you know, his cousin come by. So his cousin come by, and his cousin name is Tony. Cousin Tony, whatever. So he come by. What's up, Jakey Jake? It's Jacob. Okay, Jakey. So, he telling dude, like, hey, man, I met this new chick, man. Hey, I want you to, hey, I want to bring him by here so y'all can just meet him and whatnot like that. So, he telling home, but like, you got another one? And he telling like, man, you all be at the club. Come here and come to church. Cause that's your thing. Blah, 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 this and that. So. You feel like rain in the morning. Little do the pastor know the chick is outside. So homie told me, hey, come on in. So she come in. 
and you know she no pop 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 like that and shit. So pass the check now, of course. He's a man. And then, so he checked out and stuff like that. So then the rest of the family came, which is the son and the wife came. So he introduced like, yeah, this is my new girl. Her name is Sade. Remember that name, y'all, Sade. So. They introduced, so the son trying to push a bone and stuff like that, and so cuz tell him, like, yeah, get back, um, what do you call him, uh, demon spawn, or Satan spawn, or whatever like this, so they like, tune it, <laughs> hey, 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 man, that's what y'all said about dude, man, so, they did it like that, so, it was like, yeah, we come over for dinner, so the wife didn't feel like cooking, so she was like, well, I can go get something, and get, so, homie, Jacob, Pastor Thorne said, well, we can just call out and, you know, get, you know, you know, DoorDash or Uber or whatever the shit is like that and stuff. So, they sit down, they get to eat and shopping it up and whatnot and stuff. So, so the son, he over there, Ugh, like, so he tell me, go, you know, go, you know, take your ass upstairs, whatever, and shit, clean your room, whatever, like that. So, little dude, whatever the shit, he been, he go ahead and, you know, kick rocks and shit like that, so. The next thing you know, so the wife was like, well, I'm going to go out for a jog. It's nighttime. So she telling them, like, well, that's the best time she like to jog. So, you know, she got a lot on the mind, stress shit like that. So, okay. So, then the cousin, he get the bubble guts. He got to go to the bathroom and shit like that. Literally shit, but uh, play on words. But anyway, then, so she started talking with old pastor. She tell him, oh, I, when I found out that you were Tony Cousin, it just did me so much joy. And I'm such a huge fan of yours and how you preach the word and all of that like that and shit like that. So she shoot the brother her number and stuff like that. So with that being said, with that, I'm going to just cut off right there and I'm going to come back with part two later on and tell you the rest of it, whatever like that. So. But stay tuned, because you're chilling with Teach the Eyes of Kenny himself, the cinematic fanatic himself. With that being said, I'm going to take a commercial break. I'll hit y'all back in a few seconds. Hashtag Teach Style Rap. My bad. Hashtag Teach Style Media. Peace.